All right, so if you clicked on this video, obviously you're interested in the Hest Cam mattress. I am too. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and show you what it looks like out the box, give you my first impressions, show you how it works in my truck camper setup. So I saw it on an ad and it, I was honestly looking for it. That's, you know, I've been, I've been trying to think about a mattress that spans across here. But I also obviously am gonna be using this majority um, doing stealth camps as in, in solo. But I wanna be able to take uh, the family out and my boys out in this as well, have, have the full wide uh, mattress. That's where the Hest comes in. This is their dually wide version. It's gonna be 72 inches in length and 60 inches wide when folded all the way out, obviously 30 inches wide as a single mattress. So I recently also finished just kind of the conversion side so I can have open this, uh, or I mean I can close this up essentially for uh, the, the mattress. You can see the plywood behind me potentially and, uh, and I'll show you how I'm, I'm gonna set that up. And this is not an ad, this is just me finding a product that I thought was gonna fit perfect. Hopefully it does. Uh, I'm really crossing my fingers because if it does, it's gonna be really awesome. Let me get it opened up and then let's talk about it. The Dually Wide model. You can find more information about these, obviously they're hest.com. They have another size that's uh, narrower and longer. So if you wanna check that out as well, if you're interested, they does come in two sizes. Obviously, it's probably rolled up in here, considering the size of the box and the shape of the box. So I'll try and show this as best I can here. And I'll try and slide this out so you guys can see it. There it is, rolled up as expected in a bag. Oh, it comes out really easily here so far. So I'm just gonna kind of move the box back and try and get this whole thing out. There goes the box. Is that gonna stay? Stay. Stay. All right, I'm gonna put this over here. Nice and tightly wrapped. It looks like it's double wrapped. Looks like there's a, essentially like a compression sleeve around it. So let's take that off. Looks like it's got a card in here. It says, thanks for taking us along your adventures. Um, and a sticker. That'll be going on the shitty cooler. Okay, instruction. Use the handles to position the mattress. Unclip the two black clips holding the dually together in stow mode. Voila, let the mattress unfold. Sweet dreams and even sweeter adventures. All right, I like it. It actually looks like it's handwritten thank you. So uh, you guys are welcome. And uh, hopefully the product uh, works out for me here. Cleaning, remove the fabric cover to machine wash. It does have a cover you can remove and wash, which is awesome. Storage, you know, obviously don't store it in a hot warehouse or out in the sun for too long. They got a little QR code, assumingly, going to their website there. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. We're going to, I'm going to try and actually, because if I start to roll that, try rolling it, but I'm worried it's going to get too tight. Roll off. Oh, no, actually, it's working really well so far. You can see it starting to come out there. All right, bringing it out. Uh, so far, I'm really loving the color on this. It's not gaudy and bright, which um, is still an important thing for a lot of your outdoor stuff or whatnot. So it's got a bit of a smell out the bag. That's probably to be expected. So I will, uh, I'll try and wait and just let you know how many days in the comments, or I mean in the description as well, how many, how many days it kind of takes this to go away. I'm going to be very careful here. Cut this here. So I think at this point it's starting to unravel. I take my current bunk mattress out. There it goes. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this up on top of this for now. It's already starting to unfold on me. So actually, let's do this. Let's let me open it up for you here. Here is the top for when you are sleeping on it, when it's opened all the way up. Now, when I will be sleeping on it, I'll have this part. So I'll probably put a sheet over it or something when I'll be solo camping. So the nice surface is on the bottom or like is on the inside. So let me fold this up then again, just as easy as Clipping that one, this one over here, and we got the handles. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna slide that in for now. So you can see the uh, the Hest logo there, and this is about the same height, uh, half of this, like one of these as my old one. So it's coming out about up to right where I thought it would. All right, so I quickly did a, a quick Google search, and just so you know, the long version of this is 50 inches wide by 78 inches long. Um, so you're probably going to you're gonna have about 25 inch um, on a single and then the long version is 27 pounds and this version is 34 pounds. One thing that the Hest does have that I didn't get, um, I forgot about that they had, uh, is a camp pillow. Check it out online. Um, I, I really honestly didn't look at it when I was looking up the specs. It just, I saw it reminded me that they had one 
Hest, if you guys want to send me one, I'd be more than happy to give it a try. So anyway, uh, one thing I want to point out here too is there is a little um, pocket here, which is nice. Um, I'll still have plenty of room to reach that pocket. So let me get this stuff out. Let me show you how my camper converts. Okay, how I essentially built my camper, just um, I've got these cover panels and those will act as a ledge for my other board that I'm gonna put in here. I haven't done this, I, I fit the board, I know it fits, so bear with me here. So this will come down. This compartment is also made to be the same height as here, so the board will go across. Now that still leaves that corner and this corner needing supports, which I did build. And then I have one kind of center support that I put there for the board, just to make sure it's well supported. All right, so I just made these supports with some scrap wood from building um, these. So I just have two corner ones, and again, sort of this, this center one. So I'll put uh, one of these in the corner here. Move my lock out of the way there. So I have my supports in there. All right, here comes the board. I'm gonna. Bring it in as best I can around the camera here. Hopefully it still fits like it did before. It's getting hung up on the cords back here. There we go. You can see it nice and flat. It fits really well actually. I'm gonna pull it this way and unclip here. Unclip here as well. Let's push it back that way. Fold it over. Oh, what a perfect fit. Wow, okay, this memory foam feels really comfortable. I'm gonna get my shoes off here and give this thing a try. This actually ended up fitting even way better than I thought it would. It fits perfect. And this is a 2000 Toyota Tundra. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. I'm gonna say it again. The smell's gotta go away before uh, I can sleep in here with this. But let's try side sleep. And, and I prefer a firmer bed. It's soft, but it firms up real quick, which is just perfect for me. You may be different, but I think even just soft sleepers, like I just think it's a good blend. This seam here really is seamless. Let me try sleeping right in the middle. I can't even tell. Let me see if I were side sleeping in the middle, no problem. All right, I'm excited. Let me just think if there's anything else uh, that uh, is worth noting. It's All right, good. my other tester came out. What do you think, first impression? It's good. All right, so it's kid approved. Hester, you got that going for you, I guess. Oh, we got one more kid coming. I want to go on this side. Way softer than I thought it was going to be. Way softer than you thought it was going to be, it okay? There, there's a good review. It smells. It smells, okay. Yes, but we're going to wash it. Well, wa well, no, it'll just air out. That, that smell will go away. All right, look at that. Ah, but it's good then. I guess let me fold it back up one more time. Um, there are pockets on both sides. So you plenty of place to throw a phone into or car keys or a wallet or a little 380. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to unconvert this so I can get a good feel for it in its other position, how I'll be using it when I'm stealth camping. This is gonna be great for the family. Um, I'll still have my storage underneath in the cab. All right, here we go. Fold it back up this way now. Perfect fit, really, my goodness. Let me just put this up. You can see where that is relative to the tailgate here as well, right about that height, so nothing, not too bad. Let's get this board out. Now, I did not build mine where the board, obviously, I have like a floor, so I will just end up storing that other piece um, under the mattress right on top of this one here. Here is what I will be working with now. When I'm in here myself, it's a little bit higher, and if you've seen any of my videos, I, I intended this build nice and low because I didn't want to be up too high. I've essentially doubled my mattress height. Maybe I was just preparing when I built this for this fact. It was a little bit kismet. But let me just give a try here. I did put my shoes back up. This material isn't nearly as comfortable as the other material, but that's okay because I will probably more than likely always have like a wool throw on top of this. Not too bad at all. A little bit higher sitting, that's okay. I'll deal with it. All right, let me show you the portability of this as well. It's got its handles. Again, 34 pounds, not too bad. The handles make it just really nice to carry. The clips are simple. In fact, they even have little pockets here, really, to hide the clips in, and that's just super thoughtful. So that's a really clean look that you could get there if you wanted it. 34 pounds on the dually, which is the heavier one, and really manageable with these handles. These handles seem like they're sewed on pretty well, really well, actually. And the nice thing about the handles too is it gives me something to grip. I can really get this without having it fold on me and uh, get it slid in with really no problem there at all. 
All right, so hopefully you guys found it helpful to see uh, me unboxing my Hest Dually cam mattress. Some of the big things that really highlight for me are quality of the cover and the, and the density of the foam. Seem like they're gonna be really comfortable, especially when it's laid out. You don't need another sheet or anything like that. Uh, it, it's gonna be really nice and you can wash it. The pockets everywhere are gonna be nice as well. Uh, clips, super simple system. And again, when it's folded out, it's really seamless in the middle. You don't feel a gap or a seam. Just for reference, I'm 5'10 and about 180 pounds. So that's gonna vary for you. Overall, really happy with it so far. It fits perfect here, so I, I can't really ask a lot more than that. Otherwise, my only, my only gripe um, is the smell that comes out of the box. I guarantee that it's gonna air out. Some of these manufacturing processes have it these days. But I'm just gonna let it make sure it airs out, get all those fumes out before I use it, especially in an enclosed space like this. Check them out, hest.com. Um, this is again no way an ad for them. If you're interested to see how it ends up uh, working out for me, keep up with some of my camp videos. I don't know if I'll do like a specific follow up to this, um, but you'll see and I'll talk a lot about it when I'm camping. You'll be able to see me using it in both conversions. I'll definitely make sure to do that and you can see how well it holds up and if I got anything else to say about it or if I gripe about it or if it's phenomenal, which I think, you know, it's, it's really perfect for my setup. Hopefully it'll work for you. So I definitely at first glance recommend it. I will retract that if for some reason something really stands out. But uh, right now I would say uh, definitely a solid investment for a really quality mattress uh, for your camp setup. If you got any questions, put it down in the comment. I'll definitely respond to you and let you know. Or if you just wanna talk about camping or my truck setup, I've got some other videos on that and, uh, and I throw out some camp videos doing stealth camping, gaming and all the like. So hopefully you guys found that helpful and uh, happy camping.